He's small in size, but the guns that bear Kalashnikov's name continue to play a massive role in modern warfare. And on this, his 90th birthday, Russia paid tribute to the man hailed as a national hero. The whole world has got to know not me, but my weapon. Only later do people realize there is a designer. I travel abroad and often feel awkward. Can you imagine a young man got down on his knees and began kissing my hand? I said I don't deserve this, but he said he wanted to thank me because my weapon saved his life. During World War II, the Red Army needed a gun that would survive in muddy, wet and frozen conditions. Mikhail Kalashnikov's design won a national competition to supply the armed forces. And 60 years ago, the AK-47 assault rifle went into mass production. Variations of the weapon have been manufactured ever since. Cheap to make and easy to use. But it's precisely the reliability and simplicity of the Kalashnikov that also makes it one of the world's most counterfeited weapons. The World Bank estimates that of the 500 million firearms available worldwide, 100 million belong to the Kalashnikov family. And nearly a million of those are being produced illegally in dozens of countries, selling for as little as $30 a weapon. We lose four to five billion dollars a year, given the current prices of our weapons. Every weapon the counterfeiters sell is a loss for our company. We try to get hold of every counterfeit weapon we can from around the world. Unfortunately, the counterfeiters can't assure the same safety and technology that our company provides. Despite efforts to control their illegal manufacture, Kalashnikovs continue to feature in almost every modern conflict killing an estimated 250,000 people a year. They're a firm favorite with leaders like President Hugo Chavez, who's negotiated to set up a Kalashnikov factory in Venezuela, but also fighters in some of the world's poorest countries. A gun first designed by Kalashnikov to defend the Soviet Union from the threat of fascism is now regarded by many as a true weapon of mass destruction. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Izhevsk.